Hello everybody and welcome back to Cooking with Alethea. Today I'm going to be making another summertime dish for you guys, a quick and easy summertime meal. It's called Chicken Asian Salad and I'm going to show you what I did with the ingredients here, what we have. I'm going to start with my chicken. You get uh, some chicken breast. I have like three pieces of chicken breast, Purdue chicken breast, that I cut up in cubes, okay, and I seasoned this in a marinade. Let me put this off the fire a little bit. We have our pan over here with oil heating up for the chicken. Um, but the chicken breast, like I said, is Purdue chicken breast. I cut them up in cubed pieces and I marinated this for about two to three hours in the fridge. My seasonings that I used, I made it like a little paste of um, the everyday seasoning by Trader Joe's mixed with some parsley and I uh, chopped up a couple of uh, cloves of minced garlic. I chopped that up real fine. And I made a paste and put some canola oil in it. It made like a little paste with that and then I poured it over the chicken and just marinated it in the fridge here, like I said, for about two, three hours. I'm going to go ahead and start frying this up. Um, I have my canola oil in the pan and uh, the pan is nice and hot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the pan. And then as this is cooking up, I'm going to show you the other ingredients that we have for our Asian salad today. Okay, so while this is frying up in our pan, I'm going to show you the other, ingre the other ingredients for the salad. We have our lettuce here. We have uh, two different or three different types of two different types of lettuce and we have our baby spinach. We have our regular iceberg lettuce and we have our butter lettuce which is very delicious. I love butter lettuce and uh, like I said two hard-boiled eggs. We have our uh, sesame seeds here. We have for the dressing we're using the Asian sesame dressing. We have our wonton strips. We have our I take the lid off of this. We have our mandarin oranges. It's going in the salad. We have here, we have uh, chopped up some um, green onions. We have chopped cucumbers in small pieces. And we have our chopped carrots. So um, that's all you need, basically, for the salad, along with the main ingredient here, which is the chicken. So as this is going on, I will, be, I will come back and show you guys how it's looking once I turn this over. All right, now we're back and the chicken is finished cooking. The chicken pieces are done. I wanted to show you when you turn them over, this is how you want them. You want them to look a pretty, like a pretty brown here. Now, because they're so small, you don't want to um, leave the chicken because they cook real fast because they're small pieces. You want to stay with it or else you'll have charred chicken and it'll be called charred Asian chicken salad. We don't want that. We want the beautiful color of the brown. So this is the finished product of the chicken here. All right, we're going to put that to the side. Now I wanted to tell you about the lettuce. Now what I did was I didn't use bagged lettuce. When I was coming up, <laughs> we never had, I don't even think bagged, bagged salad was out then, I'm not sure, but um, when I was growing up, we ate a lot of things. My mom prepared a lot of things from the farm. You know, she would go to the farm, different farms, and she would either pick it herself, you know, like the fruits, or she would buy it already, you know, in, in the, uh, the, um, the little containers that they had right on the farm there. So I, met, I remember growing up many trips going to the farms, different farms and stuff, which is, um, will always be in my, embedded in my mind. But um, I wanted to show you, I'm using the lettuce, like I said, the um, different two different types of lettuce, the butter lettuce and the iceberg lettuce and the baby spinach. Now what I, I did was earlier for my prepping, I went ahead and I uh, cut the lettuce in half. This is a half of a head. I used a half of a head of iceberg lettuce and then I cut it in quarters and then I cut it again in halves. And the same with the butter lettuce. The butter lettuce, I love the butter lettuce, it's so tender. 
and it tastes so good that you can just break it off in pieces if you want. The same with the baby spinach. It's a tender, uh, very tender vegetable. And then I, um, you know, washed it off. I put it in my salad spinner. This is the best invention ever, in my opinion, is the salad spinner. So I went ahead and did that, and then I just, um, when it was done, I placed it in the bowl here. So we have our combinations of the lettuce and the baby spinach in the bowl here. Now, um, what else I wanted to tell you? Oh, one day before I finish when I'm making the dish here, I want to tell you this. One day I would like to come on here and show you guys uh, my rendition of a homemade uh, salad dressing. Like I said, when I was coming up, my mom made a lot of homemade stuff. Um, she made homemade salad dressings, Italian salad, salad dressings she would make. I didn't know anything about bottled dressings until like after I was married, basically, because um, all we had was Italian, homemade Italian salad dressing. So one day I would like to come on here and show you guys how to make uh, Italian dressing. So back to our dish today, the Asian chicken salad. So we have our lettuce all chopped up in the bowl here, washed and everything. So we're going to go ahead and um, start assembling this. I'm going to move this out the way here because I have another. This is going to be our presentation bowl right here. So you have your lettuce in here. We want to go ahead and get our the vegetables, which is the carrots, chopped carrots, okay? Now sprinkle them around as much as you like or as little as you like. You don't have to put chopped carrots in here if you don't want. It's up to your taste buds, really. But I love all different kind of vegetables because, like I said, I grew up with farm fresh vegetables. All right, so that's the carrots. Now we're going to do our cucumbers. Now, uh, what else we're going to do? We are going to... We have our chopped green onions here, but we're going to save them for last. I'm going to go ahead and put our mandarin orange slices in here. Okay. You can make it look pretty because we eat with our eyes. So the prettier it looks, the more we'll consume it. All right. All right, we're going to take our chicken pieces. Going to lay them on top like that, all around. All right, so we have our chicken on each. Now we're going to put the egg on there. So we'll do it like that. Make it look fancy schmancy. Remember, we eat with our eyes. Alrighty, one more right there. So now, next we're going to drizzle some uh, dressing on here. Well, I'm going to do a capful on the little salad. We're not going to put any on the big salad yet. I'm just showing you guys how it looks with the individual salad here. Just drizzle that around. And you know, as you mix it up, if you want more, you can put more. Or if you want less, you can do less. All right. And then put that back on. And now we're going to use some. Before we put the sesame seeds on there, we're going to put some green onions on. Can't forget them. Just we're going to use our fingers. Just do a little... That's a lot. <laughs> Just a little around. Or a lot to your liking. There's no right or wrong way. And then the final touch is the wontons. This is what really makes it. And in my opinion, this looks good. It's a nice, quick summer meal again for you guys, for your family. 
Very good. There we go. There you have it. Our Asian chicken Asian salad. All right. And something extra if you want, you can have some of this on the side, the egg rolls. All right, you can have this as a little treat for you. Show our presentation. And there you have our chicken Asian salad for dinner. Another quick summertime meal. You have all your goodness in there along with a couple pieces of egg roll. Enjoy. And if you like this channel, please subscribe to Cooking with Alethea. I come on, I try to come on once a week and, and bring some delicious uh, recipes for you guys, some ideas for you guys. I like to incorporate everyday meals, basically, into like, you know, healthy eating for us. So, um, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing again to my channel, Cooking with Alethea. I will see you next time, next week on this same channel, Cooking with Alethea. Bye-bye and have a blessed week.